Welcome to the world of Mars Moves. Walk about the show. Why do we have to wear these funny looking clothes? Because we need to wear costumes to get into the Shakespeare Festival. See, everybody at the festival is wearing clothes just like in Shakespeare's plays. What's a play? Plays are like stories that come to life. On a stage. Like that. Cool. Let's put on a Shakespeare play. Yeah! Excuse me, sir. May we use the stage to put on a play? Ah, certainly. However, there is a small rental fee of $30. $30? But we don't have $30. Hmm. Perhaps, young thespians, there is a way. How? There are three tasks with which I could use assistance. I'll pay you $10 for each one you complete. Cool! We can put on a play and have fun helping with the festival. Yeah! Let's get started! To experience the joy of organizing the backstage prop area, click the backdrop. To help our eccentric orchestra musicians find the sounds for their instruments, click the orchestra pit. If you would like to help fix some mixed up play scripts, click the bookshelf. Each time you earn money, I will deposit it in your money bag. As soon as you have acquired $30, you will be able to rent the stage and produce your own play. Thank you for your help. Ah, here are the musicians now. There is something wrong with their instruments. Could you please help the musicians find the right sounds for their instruments? Go ahead and look around the orchestra pit. Try to find a musician who needs help. Rob plays the violin. To help find the missing notes, click one of the pictures at the bottom of your screen. The violin is part of the string family. Great match! Devin plays the flute. The flute is part of the woodwind family. Splendid match! Julie plays the clarinet. The clarinet is part of the woodwind family. Splendid match! Jimmy plays the cymbals. The cymbals are part of the percussion family. Perfect match.
Wonderful. Now we shall hear the orchestra play. Congratulations! I knew you could do it. I'll pay you ten dollars now. The orchestra has prepared five special musical arrangements just for you. To select a song for your play, click the sheet of music which plays the type of music you like best. Wonderful! You have picked exciting music for your play. There are three ways you can play this game. You can play it without any time limit, or you can try and beat the clock. Choose the clock on the left if you would like to play this game without a time limit. Choose the clock in the middle if you would like a time limit challenge. Choose the clock on the right if you would like to play this game with a more challenging time limit. Hello again. This is the backstage area where we keep our props. Props are objects to make the setting of a play seem like a real place. Different settings need different props. For example, this pitchfork belongs on a farm, not in a kitchen. Our prop area has gotten very messy. The props need to be sorted into their proper chunks. It's a lot of fun. Watch closely here. I'm going to show you each stage setting. Here, we have a beach setting. The props for the beach setting go in this trunk. The beach has sand and lots of water, as far as the eye can see. This is a classroom setting. Classrooms are full of interesting things. Here, we have a kitchen setting. Kitchen props go in this trunk. My kitchen has many useful utensils. I like to bake scones for breakfast. Super! Now that you have seen the stage settings, let's have some fun. Oh my, what a mess! To start playing, click a prop and put it into the proper trunk with the picture showing the place where that prop belongs. Blender Beach Ball Computer 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 Globe Notebook Dictionary Toaster Bucket and shovel Fla Hurry! There's not much time! Pans Towel Dishes. Oh dear, time has expired. <laughs> Hello. Oh my, what a mess. To start playing, Beach ball. Computer. Blender. Pans. 
globe. Toaster. Bucket and shovel. Flying disc. Towel. Dishes. Dictionary. Hurry! There's not much time. Notebook. Surfboard. Television. Apron and chef hat. Oh my, what a mess! To start playing, click a prop and put it into the proper planter. Beach ball. Surfboard. Scarecrow. Canoe. Sleeping bag. Pose. Canteen. Hiking boots. Firewood. Weather vane. Bucket and shovel. Towel. Sea. Hurry! There's not much time. Flying disc. Wonderful. Thanks for organizing all of those props. Now they won't be in the way when you produce your play. You've done a fabulous job. Oops, I almost forgot. Here is the $10 you earned for helping. Now it is time to choose the setting you want to use in the production of your own play. Click the trunk with the setting you would like to use. Campsite. Farm. Fantastic choice. This will be a dynamite setting for your play. Actors and actresses use scripts to learn their lines for a play. These notebooks contain the scripts for several wonderful Shakespearean plays. Each of these plays is missing one of its parts, either the beginning, middle, or the end. I am in much need of your help to find the missing parts and put them back in the notebook. When you put these delightful scripts back in the proper order, I will pay you $10. Simply click on a notebook to begin. The Tempest. Use the arrows to look through the pages in this script to see which page is missing. Then, find the page that belongs there. Hmm, it looks like page one, the beginning of this play, is missing. Look at the three mini pages to find the missing page of this play. Miranda wanted to return to Italy, so she fixed the ship that belonged to the Duke's enemies and sailed away. The end. Click here if you think this is the right one to add to the notebook. Click here to shrink this page down so you can try another. Once upon a time, Prospero was the Duke of Milan. His jealous brother Antonio wanted to be the Duke. Click here if you think this is the right one to add to the note. Perfect. 
that is the beginning of the play. Now, let's read page one, the beginning of this play. Once upon a time, Prospero was the Duke of Milan. His jealous brother Antonio wanted to be the Duke. So, Antonio sent Prospero and his daughter Miranda out to sea in a small boat. They had no food or supplies. Let's read page two, the middle of this play. Miranda and Prospero landed on an island. They found a cave for shelter and a lot of food to eat. They lived on the island for 12 years. One day, Prospero decided to try to become Duke again. Page three. A great storm caused Prospero's enemies to be shipwrecked on his island. Prospero confronted his brother Antonio and forgave him for all the bad things he had done. Prospero became Duke again. The end. Good show! Much ado about nothing. Use the arrows to look through the pages in this script to... The little red hen ate the delicious loaf of bread all by... Click here to shrink this page down so you can try another. Once upon a time, two men named Claudio and Benedict returned from a war. Click here if you think this is the right one to add to the note. Perfect. That is the beginning of the play. Now, let's read page one. The beginning of this play. Once upon a time, two men named Claudio and Benedict returned from a war. They met two women, Hero and Beatrice. Hero and Claudio fell in love. Benedict and Beatrice argued all the time. Let's read page two, the middle of this play. However, Claudio and Hero knew that Benedict and Beatrice really did love each other. They made a plan to trick Benedict and Beatrice into admitting that they loved each other. Page 3 Finally, they all gathered for the wedding of Claudio and Hero. Benedict and Beatrice decided to get married too. There was a big party, and everyone celebrated. The end. Good show! A midsummer. Use the arrows to look through the pages in this script. Once, there was a fairy king named Oberon. Oberon was angry with his wife, Titania. While she was sleeping, he had his servant, Puck, play a trick on her. Let's read page two, the middle of this play. Puck sprinkled the nectar of a flower into Titania's eyes. When she awoke, she was to fall in love with the first creature she saw. She saw Bottom, an actor wearing a donkey's head. Hmm, it looks like page three, the end of this play, is missing. In the end, Bottom and his friends performed their play at the Duke. Click here 
if you think this is the right one to add to the notebook. Perfect. That is the end of the play. Page 3. In the end, Bottom and his friends performed their play at the Duke's wedding. Oberon lifted the magic spell from Titania and everyone lived happily ever after. The end. Good show! Congratulations! I knew you could do it. I'll pay you ten dollars now. Wonderful. Now you may choose a story for your play. Click the notebook with the plot you want to see acted out in the production of your play. The Tempest. Fabulous. You have done a marvelous job. When you are ready to watch your play, click the light above the stage. My thing quit, quit. 